So you want to regularly stream Smash Brothers, but you don't know where to start with your stream layout. I'm Smashing Veteran, and I've been creating internet content for seven years now. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make a stream layout, because a lot of Smash streams do it entirely wrong, and it's like becoming a plague or something. Most stream layouts that I see would be okay for a game that's a 4x3 ratio, but nobody else streams their HD fighting games like this. I can go on about how to stream on the technical side, but I'll save that for another video, if it's requested. The basic rundown, though, is that you stream at 720p at 3,500 kilobytes a second. That is Twitch's best settings that they allow. Okay, cool. Your game is probably either being captured at 720p 60, that is the least you should have. The more you downscale the game, the worse you make it for your viewers and for archival purposes, which is the biggest problem with everyone's layouts. Melee or Project M never get downscaled because the stream is at 720p and Melee and PM are only at 480p. If anything, Melee generally is upscaled. This video is going to be for if you cannot manage more than one layout and don't want to actively switch between two or three scenes, which by the way is a much better option than just one, but I can understand why you only want one. If it is requested, I will explain how to do two three scene layouts, which I would prefer to do, but I don't know how much people actually want to do that. Some examples of successful layouts though with two to three would be Xanadu or General Tournaments, Maximilian Dude, or ESPN. That's not a joke, television is a really good reference for these kind of things. Now here's the problem with current streams. Most streams do this L-shaped shit for their only layout, and that's wrong and bad for the most part, because the majority of people that do this have nothing relevant in the L-shaped space. They have like a logo or social media links. If you do something more relevant with the space, such as organizing how many people you're going to be playing with, or if you're doing some kind of tournament or King of the Hill deal, if you have any info like social media links, that should be below the stream, which is what that space that Twitch has provided you with should be for. You're going to have borders, borders are neat. If you do things like donation, donation goals, follower goals, music, etc., whatever, keep them small and stroke the text to make it easy to read while small, and keep it at the bottom or the top of the stream. Alright, so on to webcams. Keep webcams at 4x3 resolution and lower their internal resolution. High resolution webcams at 16x9 can put a lot of unnecessary pressure on a computer, mainly because the drivers, however, aren't that optimized, so you'll want to crop it. A lot of tournaments don't do this and just have the high quality 16x9, and their audio ends up lagging. If you're ever watching a stream and the audio starts crackling or poppling, that's probably why. Do not scrunch it up either. Crop it. Is webcam allowed to overlap your video? In the one layout strategy, yes. Yes, absolutely. Keep it down here. Nothing happens down here in this space. It's a good spot for a webcam. If you have a green screen, you could easily put yourself in the middle or in the corners. Just make sure you're looking towards the game and not out. It looks silly. Logos, social media links, whatever are no. Again, again, Twitch gives you all this space below your stream to put all that shit. It adds nothing to the stream itself. Just takes up space and clutter. Do not use Comic Sans, and if the game capture has black bars around it, crop it. So final topic's gonna be color schemes. If you know nothing about color principle or how to determine the theme of colors for your layout, shit, neither do I, but here's what you use. You use something called Adobe Color. It's a free internet tool you to easily make set of colors that coordinate in whatever way you want. You can play with this all you want and find something desirable. So now, you, or your commission designer, now have an idea of what to do. Post below any of your comments and I'll probably reply. This overview was really general and really rushed, and I could really go on and on about how to do this shit, but only if it's requested. So that's all I gotta tell you. Stay warm, kids. Now I have a theory that a lot of people got the idea that an L shape was okay from streamers that bend the rules a little bit. See, Twitch only allows you to stream up to 3,500 kilobytes a second, and at this low bit rate, only 720p looks good, 1080p looks horrible. However, there are some streamers out there that still do 4,500 kilobytes a second, so 1080p for them is okay. I don't know why they do it or why they aren't getting in trouble for it, but they are. So they're able to get away with L-Shape because they're not scrunching the game down significantly as much as you are with your 720p layout. L-Shape layouts are designed for 4x3. Smash is a 16x9 game. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. That's as simple as I could physically put that.